This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WGBW Daily News Roundup for the Talk of Green Bay, 97.9 FM and 1590 AM. For 97.9 WGBW News, I'm Savannah Tome Olson. The city of Sheboygan is dealing with a cyber attack. A hacker is now demanding ransom from the city. Officials don't believe any sensitive personal information was compromised. They were able to get all their systems back online. But now they're trying to figure out exactly how hackers got in in the first place. This is such a bizarre story in Green Lake County. Authorities say a man faked his own death and fled to Europe. 45-year-old Ryan Borgwart was on his kayak back in August. He ended up going missing. Authorities put on a huge search. It included them looking through the lake with drones and sonar. He was presumed dead. Divers searched for him, and so did cadaver dogs. The sheriff's office kept searching for more than six weeks. Well, now, the sheriff says two days after he allegedly went missing, Borgward's passport was checked by officials in Canada. They say he bought a new life insurance policy earlier this year and had a relationship with a woman in Uzbekistan. They now believe he's in Eastern Europe. The Green Lake County Sheriff's Office is asking anybody who knowingly or unknowingly helped him pull this off to contact them. And a company in Appleton is laying off hundreds of workers. Salelytics provides call center and support services for other companies. Executives say FedEx recently ended their contract with them, forcing them to lay people off. 250 employees will be out of a job. And Green Bay schools now have another inclusive playground. The one at Dan's Elementary School is now open. These types of playgrounds follow Americans with Disabilities Act guidelines, so more people are able to use them. The project was paid for by the city's 2022 school referendum and money from the American Rescue Plan. It's the fifth of its kind in the district. And today is Veterans Day, PTSD, suicide, and mental illness. Serving our country puts veterans at higher risk for all of them. More than a third of the country's veterans have a mental illness diagnosis in their record, and that's only counting the people who got help and officially got that diagnosis. Tim Cody with the Fox Valley Veterans Council said homelessness is also a big concern. All of these things are connected to one another. Let's face it. Let's say you have PTSD, but if you're getting ready to get thrown out of your house, you think you're going to your VA appointment? No. You're worried about trying to find a uh, a roof over your house. Veterans are more likely than the general population to become homeless. UW-Green Bay has activities planned all week to honor and recognize military students, veterans, active military, and their families. Today, there's a solemn ceremony that honors prisoners of war and those missing in action. On Wednesday, the Chancellor's Reception will honor military students and award scholarships. Civic Media's John Mayno will MC there. Thursday, a pizza lunch takes over the Veterans Lounge in Mack Hall. All events are sponsored by the Veterans Service Department at UWGB. And gas prices are still falling across Wisconsin, dropping three cents over the last week. Here's Melissa Kay. The average across the state today is $2.81 per gallon. This is 25.5 cents lower than a month ago and over 28 cents lower than this time last year. Officials at GasBuddy say the average in the U.S. is the lowest since 2021 at $2.95 per gallon. This was anticipated in GasBuddy's official annual fall outlook from December of 2023. Prices have been dropping for four consecutive weeks as seasonal demand weakens. Elections have come and gone, but gas prices have stayed the course. Officials say prices could continue to drop as we get closer to Thanksgiving. The average today in Brown County is $2.85 a gallon. And Crossroads 41 announces its lineup tomorrow. The first iteration of the festival was just held in August in Oshkosh. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson, in for Lisa Hale. You're listening to 97.9 WGBW News. Jalen Brown calls Giannis a child. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Bucks lost to the Boston Celtics 113-107. In the second quarter, Giannis Antetokounmpo went over to the Celtics' Jalen Brown, extending his hand for a handshake, then pulled it away to run his fingers through his hair. After the game, Brown was asked in the Celtics' locker room about the fake handshake. Um, Giannis is a child. You know, I'm just focused on helping my team get a win. Giannis says he was just having some fun. It's, it's a joke. You know, we're playing basketball. It's something that I, I do to my kids. Play around, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, give me a high five. Hope you're too slow. I just did it. It was fun. He took offense to it. Why, why do you say that? He was asked about it after after the game, and he said, Giannis is a child. You know, I'm, 
if I'm called a child, yeah, so be it. The Bucks are now 2-8. and eight. They host the Toronto Raptors tomorrow night. College hoops, the Wisconsin Badgers rolled over Appalachian State 87-56 to at the Kohl Center. The Badgers now 3-0 and on the season with sports on Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwabo. Two men have been arrested in connection with the death of former One Direction member Liam Payne. Payne fell from the balcony of a hotel in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and an autopsy revealed multiple drugs in his system. The Hollywood Reporter says a hotel staff member and local drug dealer were taken into custody. Both men are being accused of supplying Payne with the drugs found in his system. The incident happened on October 16th. Ready for another video game turned TV show? Variety reports that Amazon is developing Mass Effect, which is based on the video game which first launched in 2007. The game was a hit from the get-go and became a series that launched three more games. Fast and Furious 9 writer-producer Daniel Casey is developing and will executive produce the series. I wonder if anyone owns the rights to Pong. Gladiator 2 is just a couple weeks away from hitting theaters. According to director Ridley Scott, Joaquin Phoenix almost quit the first Gladiator. The 86-year-old director says Phoenix got cold feet and told Scott he had to leave the project. It took a gladiator-type effort from fellow castmate Russell Crowe, who told Phoenix he was being terribly unprofessional. At the end of the day, it was Scott who talked the actor into staying on the film. Gladiator 2 does not have Joaquin Phoenix or Russell Crowe, but is directed by Scott and opens November 22nd. The sixth Pirates of the Caribbean film is in development. Good Lord. Producer Jerry Bruckheimer says production on the film will start in late 2025, but the cast has not yet been assembled. Johnny Depp is a maybe, but Kara Knightley says she will not take part unless it's the final film of the franchise. Fingers crossed. The film does not have a title yet. If you're a Star Wars fan, prepare to go into a lather. There is a new trilogy in the works from Lucasfilm. Writer-producer Simon Kinberg will write, produce, and develop the three new Star Wars films. It's been five years since we saw The Rise of Skywalker, which was the most recent Star Wars film in theaters. Since then, Lucasfilm brought us three shows in the Mandalorian world, including The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka, and the upcoming Skeleton Crew. They also launched shows The Acolyte, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Andor. Simon Kinberg is known for his writing and producing skills for several X-Men films and 2016's Deadpool. Variety reports the new trilogy is in the early stages of development, so there are no story details just yet. There has also been no announcement on when production might start. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Wamba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. It is going to be a little breezy this morning, but the wind will die down by later this afternoon. Mostly sunny. We'll get to the mid to upper 40s for a high today. Tonight, it'll be clear with a low in the upper 20s. Tomorrow, sunshine with a high in the upper 40s to near 50. Rain possible tomorrow night into Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Temperature now 49. That's your WGBW Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WGBW.FM. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 